it makes me feel sad. The Arizona heat killed 645 people in Maricopa County last year. That's up 52% from the year prior. 156 of those people died indoors. The problem is... We found in a majority of these cases, the person was at home and had an AC unit, but it either wasn't on or wasn't working. They are on very limited incomes. When it comes to summer and those utility bills are skyrocketing, you will find that they will decide, okay, am I going to turn up my air conditioner just a little bit? Or am I going to just deal with the heat and maybe buy my prescriptions, maybe buy the food that I need. And without AC, the average temperature in these homes was 102 degrees. A majority of the deaths were people 50 years and older. Many were found by a loved one, neighbor, or first responders. And some had previous health issues like diabetes, kidney, or heart disease. So that's going to make the problems with your ability to uh, deal with the heat even more uh, difficult. Nancy Marion is the executive director of the Community Housing Partnership. This will be totally renovated. It's a nonprofit that provides housing to seniors, veterans, and families in the affordable housing units they own across the valley. Absolutely, this will have AC. She says it's crucial to make sure seniors have working air conditioning, especially in the summer, and stress the importance of checking in on your loved ones and neighbors. It's kind of important that we make sure that everybody is alive and well and healthy. Now, there are a lot of resources to help seniors and low income families pay their electricity bills. Companies like APS, SRP, and even federal funds available to help people. We have a list of those resources up right now on our AZ Family News app. Live in Phoenix tonight, I'm Holly Bach for Arizona's Family. Well, those are sad 